Hello friends, my name is Sandesh and today I am going to start a new lecture series quantum calculations. In these calculations, I am going to perform DFT calculation using quantum espresso and atomic simulation environment. This lecture series will helpful for those who are pursuing their studies in material science or the researcher in material science. So today I am going to perform a installation of quantum espresso on Google Colab and also I will perform some simple calculation using atomic simulation environment. I hope this lecture series will helpful for you. If you like the video, please like and share with your friends also. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Now step one is to log in into your Google account and go to the Google Colab and create a no new notebook. To create a new notebook, I have already prepared one video. Uh, please check out the link in the comment box. Now second step is to go to the Quantum Espresso official site and download the Quantum uh, Espresso version and save it in your Google Colab. There is one another method by which you can directly install the Google Colab into your Google Colab account. So <clears throat> we will first install all the dependence library for uh, like example libxc, libffdw, libblast uh, library. Lib XC library is used for exchange correlation function used in DFT. libffdw is used for fast Fourier transformation library essential for the calculation and libblas library basically these library are used for the linear algebra and matrix operations okay so let's go to the google colab and let's install <coughs> we'll first install uh, atomic simulation environment and all the dependent library so let's run this one okay so i have already installed this one now next step is to install quantum espresso directly you have to use this command apt hyphen get install quantum espresso okay so I will use directly this command to install Quantum Espresso in Google Colab. Okay, now it is installed in my Google Colab. Now let's check whether it is installed or not by using uh, pw.x command. So let's run this one. And here you can see the pw.x command is now running. Okay, so our quantum espresso has installed successfully. Now let's uh, run some calculation using pw.x command. For that, I'm going to create one uh, folder. Uh, for that, I have to import import OS and I will create one folder. Basically, before that, I have to go to the content folder. So OS dot chdir change directory to the slash slash content okay okay now let me check in which folder I am so I have to write pw print working directory now I am in content folder now I have to create one uh, folder name as C so let's make a folder for that I have to use mkdir okay mkdir uh, let's say my folder name is c okay and now I have to move to the folder c okay for that I can use os.chdir chdir okay slash content slash c okay and after that i will print the working directory so p working directory now i am in a uh, c folder where you can see there is one folder called c in this folder i am going to uh, import my file which I'm going to run using pw.x command 
okay so already prepare one file here you can see this file i'm going to run using pw.x command in google colab this file is about SEO calculation on the uh, graphene for running this uh, calculation i have to import this file to the c folder so how can i do that from google.colab import files okay import files upload dead is equal to files dot upload okay if i run this one it will allow me to upload my file in i have to choose a file which i'm going to upload I'm going to use this file okay now it is uploading in c folder it is successfully uploaded now in this folder i have to upload this uh, pseudo potential file also for that i am going to again run this one so it allow me to choose a file which can be uploaded in c folder so i upload this file also pseudo potential file This file is also uploaded you can check in c folder we have this one dot in file and uh, this pseudo potential file how to prepare this file i'm going to tell in upcoming lecture but today i'm going to run this calculation so <clears throat> now we have uploaded both the files now we have to just run the command so we have to write pw dot x one dot in one dot out basically name of my file is one now i'm going to run this one okay so now it is running calculation has completed here you, you can see in c folder here you can see one dot in and one dot out so let let's check this file one dot out so here you can see the output file output file of dft calculation quantum espresso output file okay here done hmm. you can download this file also <clears throat> we have successfully uh, so we have successfully run uh, sf calculation of graphene okay now let me show you how we can run a calculation using atomic simulation environment for that i have already written one code over here so how to prepare this code i will show you in upcoming videos but today i'm going to show you how we can run this code in google colab okay now for that uh, let me initially print the working directory print working directory so i'm in c folder uh, but i want to create a new folder for this calculation this calculation is basically the relaxation calculation of silicon crystal okay let me create one directory for silicon calculation for that i'm going to use this command copy paste so here i'm writing si okay so basically i first initially i have to make a directory i have to navigate to the content folder in content folder i'm going to create a folder so i have to write mk so whenever you are performing any command in google colab you have to write this exclamatory mark write mkdir okay si okay now after that si after that i will navigate to the si folder okay and i will print the working directory print working directory the folder has created and now i am in si folder so you can check here we have si folder but it is now empty folder now uh, this calculation is run using atomic simulation environment 
and it requires a pseudo potential si.pb so this file i have to upload in si folder for that again i'm going to copy this code will upload the pseudo potential here we here i have the pseudo potential file this pseudo potential can be downloaded from official quantum espresso uh, site now the, this pseudo potential is uploaded in our folder here you can see in si folder we have this pseudo potential now let me run this one this calculation is about the relaxation calculation of crystal structure of si silicon okay so let me run this one so it is running here you can see the updates okay here you can see the force maximum force update and energy the total energy of optimized structure is this much in heart rate okay so this is how you can perform a uh, dft calculation using quantum espresso and atomic simulation environment in google colab in next upcoming videos i will be perform all this calculation in atomic simulation environment in my computer i'm not going to perform this calculation in google collab because google collab has its own uh, disadvantages google thank you